my lane fast, call it high speed I've been working hard, yeah, I've been working nightly If you think you'll win, ha, not fucking likely I be taking shots, yeah, cold-blooded, icy Watching numbers grow is what I call sightseeing In the front row, run it up when they hype me The following grows, they know how to ignite me Call me CEO, I've been running shit right, see And I ain't playing games, I create my own lane Making pleasure out of pain, uh Turning losses into gains, I'm the boss, I'm making change I've been rocking this exchange, uh Popping off and risking things, gonna make a fucking name I just wanna be famous But I don't want that cheap fame, no I'm not that vain I just wanna be greatness I just wanna be Going off every chance I get I don't really take a loss, well I'll admit That's why I'll make it to the top, yeah I commit And no I'm never getting lost, I get after it Investing in my own stock cause it's faster than Any crypto hits go, let me spend Everything that you see is something I invent And it's only a percent I'm gonna take shots if I miss all, forget it I'll take a fat loss just to learn all that's in it I'm taking snapshots, learning how to fall and get it I'm getting back up, always stand tall, don't sweat it I never back up, I don't miss a thing or regret it I'm always learning, you could call me academic I'm always working, never been apathetic Bad energy is like a poison, needs some antiseptic <laughs> Unreal. No, baby. No, no. There's nothing. That's water. What well, was ice? Probably water now. Here, you want this? Look how instant your attitude changed. Yeah, bitch, my fucking attitude changed. Because number one, I'm over here going through a miscarriage. Number two, I'm already stressed about fucking moving. And number three, you come on here with some bullshit that I already fucking talked about. I talked about this a couple weeks ago when I had to hire my fucking lawyer. This is nothing new. My problem is people like you that come on here trying to humiliate somebody. Bitch, show me your fucking bank account. Show me what you're working with. You want to come on here and say I'm financially unstable? Show me what the fuck is in your bank account. You own your house? Do you own anything you have? Y'all sit over there. They sit there like, oh, I've got some tea. Oh, I've got... If only you fucking knew what really goes on in the life of Juliana. Y'all would shit yourselves. You think that's tea? And the, and the funniest part is, these women, if you saw me, you would look at the fucking ground. You wouldn't even have the nerve to fucking look me in my face. But you're so ballsy when you're behind a screen. Like, I don't think, I don't think these morons, how do you assume you make more than me? <gasps> Bitch, tell me, please, please show me that you make between 30 and $60,000 a month. Show me and I will shut the fuck up.
Show me. Because I can show you. I can send you my 1099 right now. I can send it right now. Boo bear. Show me that you're, that you're working with five figures a month. And I will shut the fuck up. Better yet, show me you're making thirty to $60,000 a month and I will send you $10,000 on Cash App right now. Show me that. Show me your bank account. Taxes are a fucking pain in the ass, especially when you are self-employed. There's a lot of theft or whatever they want to call it. Somebody stole my identity back in the day when I was in high school. Filing your taxes becomes even more hard because there's a lot of hoops you need to jump through. I don't think people understand how easily mistakes can be made. And a huge mistake was made. And I called my guy several times and I filled out the forms I was supposed to fill out. And it was on them to file it. And they didn't. I thought they filed it in March. They didn't. I get a letter from the IRS. I hired a lawyer. That's all there is to it. My lawyer's handling it from start to finish. They have power of attorney. They can call the IRS on my behalf. That's all there is to it. Right. Like, taxes are nothing to play with. Am I going to send in $22,000 on a mistake that my CPA made? Absolutely not. So if you've got to put a tax lien on me and everything I own for the time being, fucking do that. Do that. My lawyer's fixing it. Yeah, and, and we're talking, this is a mistake from 2017. From 2017. So, okay, let's think. That year, we made what? 416000 in 2017, or was that 2018? 2017. 2018, maybe a bit more. No. <clears throat> I'm trying to think what year it was. Regardless, I mean, like, $22,000 was chump change to what I make. So it, if, if it was a mistake that I knew, like, okay, this can't be fixed. Oh, yeah, 2017. 2016. 2018 was a little. Was it? 2016 was on the rise. Like, it was in 2017 was one of the highest ones. Yeah, you're right. Like. It just, it blows me because I literally was talking about this a couple weeks ago. I was literally talking about my tax situation. And it's like, why didn't you all record that live? Why weren't you all recording that? You come on here like you've got some tea. I'm already in a bad mood, bitch. Like, I'm already going through it. Right. What makes you think you make more than... I know I do. And it's just like... I would never. Like... People go through shit. And this is just an example of why I am blessed and these people are not. (coughs) It's a heart problem. I would never... Never in my wildest fucking dreams go out of my way to troll somebody, let alone get on somebody's live that is clearly being vocal about the shit they're going through and trying to humiliate them. You're not humiliating me. Let me, let me, let me make something very clear to y'all. The way God moves in my life, the way I've been blessed The way I have hit rock bottom and then brought back up, let me make something very clear. If I lost it all tomorrow, I would be okay. If I, if I had to, if something terrible happened within my company and everything came crashing down and I had to go get a regular job, I would be okay. 
Why? Because I know God's got me. That's got to be a lie, but that's awesome. Um, like, it's, like I said, it's not, you're not ever going to humiliate me. Like, I am one of, I am one of those people where I'm like, yo, like, you're going to take me as I am. Like, what I go through is what a lot of people go through. Just because I've got a few more followers, I'm not going to sit here and act like, you know, my life is perfect. I'm not going to do that. So you guys get what you get with me. My issue with these people is like you got a heart problem, bro. Like you've got a character problem. Like your character is seriously fucking flawed. That's what me like that's really what gets me going cuz it's like bitch you would not talk to me like that in my face. Where's the lighter? Like you wouldn't you wouldn't say it to my face. This shit happened yesterday. One of my friends that I used to be best friends with back in the day Heard she was talking shit about me. I confronted her. Had nothing to fucking say. Y'all will never say it to their face. So why waste your time saying it behind a screen? She just made a fool of herself. Show me your bank statements. You want $10,000? Show me you make more than me. I've got you. Right now. Make me look fucking stupid. Shut me up. You say, how, how do I know I make more than you? What makes me think that, that I make more than you? Show me. Show me you do. And send me that cash app and I will shut the fuck up. Until then, keep being hateful, miserable. Your character is flawed. That's something you can't fucking buy. You can't buy good character. You came on here talking shit to somebody that's literally in the middle of miscarrying and going through huge life changes that I'm already anxious about. Like, my first thing that I said on here was, like, my anxiety is on 3,000. And you had the fucking audacity to come on here talking shit to me and then be like, see how your attitude changed? Fuck yeah, it changed. You just fucking triggered the fuck out of me. Because if you were sitting in front of me, I would have knocked your head off your shoulders. That's just what it is. So, congrats. You triggered me. What do you get out of this? About to send some Photoshop bank statements in. Like, congrats. You triggered me. Look what you did. You, you just made yourself look like a major bitch. And guess what? In a couple months, when my situation is handled, my lawyer fixes that, and we're over there saving buku money, and in a year you see me build a million-dollar house, then what? You're going to come back and be like, remember that tax lien you had when I Googled your name? Come on, bro. Now you look like a piece of shit. <coughs> It's all right. I found out, y'all, and within a couple days I was bleeding. So it's all right. I'm more so just, like, upset that I even tested in the first place because I feel like had I not tested, I could have just told myself it was nothing. But I've been emotional. I've been in pain. I have all these big decisions to make, and I got people fucking with me that I can't put my hands on. Rising, insert a little rising You don't have